So what's the next step after you find a winning keyword? Like if a keyword does super well, it gets very cheap cost per purchase or cost per leads, how do you go ahead and scale out a keyword? Because you can't really increase a budget on a keyword. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video because when it comes to scaling, scaling a keyword and going deep into it and finding similar keywords, increasing the budget, separating into its own campaign, that's a crucial part when it comes to scaling. So if you don't wanna lose thousands and thousands of dollars not testing and sort of finding all these similar related interests by scaling out your winning interests, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because I'm gonna go over that exact topic. I'll be showing you guys everything when it comes to my scaling process, when it comes to scaling out keywords on AdWords. Before we get to today's video, let's start by announcing last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses, consulting course with me. The winner's here. If you guys want to qualify or to do, drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into today's video. Scaling keywords on AdWords. So here's a campaign. This would apply for Google Shopping campaigns, YouTube campaigns, search campaigns. Um, but let's say you have one general campaign such as this. And this is a testing campaign that could be a bunch of different keywords testing a particular individual product. This could be a testing campaign for all your your whole store with many different products. Or this could be just a, you know, a testing campaign with all the different interests that you could sell your say informational product to. Let's say you have a very hot keywords such as in this case flawless brows where i got 29 conversions at 11 dollars and 85 australian dollars each which is insanely cheap this is an insanely good keyword that i want to go ahead and scale as you can see you can't really increase a bid on this individual keyword in this sort of testing campaign so what you actually have to do is you want to scale sort of horizontally and find more similar keywords and to do that let's say you did a search campaign what you go ahead and do is search the exact keyword for sprouts to go ahead and find other keywords. You'd search that, look at the SEO title and the SEO descriptions to find more keywords. So in this case, you know, I see eyebrow hair, the first one, finishing touch, hair remover. Um, if you look in the description, it says like hair removal unit, beautiful brows. So those are just a bunch of examples. And what you can do is you just scroll down on Google to find more keywords. And then you want to collect 10 of these keywords that are similar and then if you're running YouTube ads and you're using YouTube keywords do the exact same thing search up that winning keyword on YouTube and look at the titles of all the videos that pop up and go ahead and use similar keywords to that interest so for example as seen on TV floor spare reviews shaping tutorial and go ahead and just keep scrolling down to find 10 more keywords so all you need is 10 um, you could use either one of these strategies depending on how you're advertising whether you're advertising on Google or you're advertising on YouTube what you want to go ahead and do is you want to create a new scaling campaign you don't have these 10 specific keywords in this new scaling campaign and the only difference between the scaling campaign and your testing campaign everything will be the same your campaign settings your placements your ads will all be the same but the only difference is that in the scaling campaign you would only have keywords for that specific product and ads for that specific product whereas your testing campaign will have all keywords for all your products or all the different sort of niches you're going for let's say you're selling a e-commerce product and you have keywords such as e-commerce shopify drop shipping that would be the testing campaign and in your scaling campaign it will be like how to start drop shipping dropshipping 2020 this would be the scaling campaign where you double down on the keyword dropshipping just because out of the testing campaign you found that the dropshipping keyword worked the best how to go ahead and scale it further so if this new scaling campaign does very well and you get cheap leads and purchases what you want to do is you want to go back to the initial testing campaign with hundreds of different keywords and turn off the keyword flawless brow turn it off and you might ask, why do you want to turn it off? Because you want the testing campaign to be testing all these other different keywords. Because as of right now, it's probably gonna spend majority of the budget on the winning keywords. And if you're able to go ahead and create a new campaign with that same keyword, one, you're gonna be competing against yourself. And two, if you're able to get it work separately, you might as well remove it from your testing campaign, let your testing campaign continue to test new keywords so you could go ahead and find new winning keywords to scale and that's sort of why you want to go back to your testing campaign and turn off that keyword and then you will have that testing campaign where you could go ahead and increase budgets for and then you will have that scaling campaign where you could go ahead and increase the budget for if it continues to do well 
And then when it comes to budget scaling, I'm gonna have a separate video on that exact same topic. But that's how you go ahead and scale keywords on AdWords. Hope you guys found value in this video. Um, you know, this is sort of the stuff you would learn in courses, a lot of the stuff that gurus would teach you. But no one's sort of giving away completely for free on YouTube, and that's sort of my goal with these videos. I just want to give away every single thing I know, things that would have helped me completely for free. So that's what all I ask is a simple like of this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, DM me. I've been answering every single DM on Instagram. I've been answering every single comment in the comment section. Check out my podcast. You get a lot of behind the scene exclusive content. I release weekly podcast episodes, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. And thank you so much for your time and effort for watching these daily videos. Peace.